Rehan travels to Koti, Shimla, to prepare a mansion Glen Manor for sale for his father's real estate company. He learns that the mansion's caretaker died two days ago from a heart attack due to the house being haunted. Although he refuses to believe this at first, he meets a rag picker telling him that only he will be able to stop the haunting. Mysterious things happen over the next few nights. Exactly at 3 a.m., Rehan saves himself from a few fatal attacks. Hears repeated screams of a woman. Sees a girl singing and playing the piano who vanishes when he opens the door. A book drops from a bookshelf on its own and Rehan finds a letter inside. The suicide letter, written by Meera Sabharwal to her parents, tells her story from 1936 when they left for Delhi to attend her brother's wedding and left her behind with her nanny Margaret, a servant and a driver so that she could prepare for her upcoming exams in their absence. Her piano teacher Ayer tried to rape her during her lessons. However, she saved herself by hitting him hard with a candle stand on his head, which resulted in his death. Soon, the police corroborated Mira's story, as they found a few personal items and explicit sketches of hers drawn by Ayer in his house. However, Ayer obsessed with Mira, returned in the form of an evil spirit, killing her servant first, then her driver and last of all, Margaret, leaving her all alone in the mansion. He raped Mira repeatedly for the next six days, who ended up committing suicide in despair. Rehan soon realizes that even after her death, her spirit is trapped and tortured inside the mansion by Ayer's spirit to this day. After reading the letter, he feels sympathetic and brings a psychic, Mrs. Stevens, to help. But the woman leaves after realizing how much evil and obsessive Ayer's spirit is and asks Rehan to do the same. But he ignores her warning and stays there, challenging Ayer by repeating his name, as it is believed that saying an evil spirit's name makes it more powerful. However, Ayer's spirit appears before him warning him to get out of the mansion and violently throws him out. Rehan tries to get in again, hearing the screams, but Mira's spirit appears before him too, saying that Ayer will never let him free her from his captivity. A tearful Rehan steps back and kneels down in despair before the thundering mansion, echoing with Mira's screams. The next morning when he wakes up, he finds the rag picker in front of him. Casting a spell. The spell sends him back 75 years to the 17th of August 1936. The day when Mira's parents leave for Delhi. Rehan befriends Mira by being shown the way to the city by her. Calling himself to be a lost newcomer to the town. The next day. In order to prevent Ayer's death. Rehan arrives at Glen Manor with a basket full of chocolates for Mira as a gift for showing him. The way to the city. Seconds before Ayer could carry out his intention, Rehan says that he would like to listen to Mira's performance as he is also interested in music. But Ayer asks him to leave. Rehan insists on staying outside the door so he will not interfere in their class and can still listen to her music, so that he could come to Mira's help if Ayer tries to assault her. As Rehan waits outside the room, Ayer unexpectedly hits him with a stick on the head, throwing him out on the lawn. He bolts the door from inside and tries to assault a horrified Mira. Injured and bleeding, Rehan staggers his way to the door. But, as written in fate, before he could do anything, Mira kills Ayer. A distraught Rehan is admitted to the hospital by Margaret and Mira, where he dreams about Ayer's spirit. Saying that he knows he is from the future. His real motive for being there. And says that he will not let him succeed. Rehan wakes up from the dream the next morning and rushes out of the hospital to save Mira's servant. Who, according to her letter, was going to get killed. He is horrified along with Mira. Margaret and the driver when he finds the servant to be dead already. 
desperate for her cooperation to help her out. He explains everything to Meera and Margaret and asks them to meet him the next day at noon. The next day, the three of them visit a priest, who tells them that far from the town is a dargah, a mosque where there is a Sufi Baba who could help them. He tells them to start the journey at 3 p.m. because spirits are weakest at this point of time and they would be safe from ire but warns them about the time of 3 a.m. Because at this time, all spirits are at their strongest as it gets dark. The three decide to stay in a hotel. At night, Ayer's spirit possesses Margaret's body through a telephone call and tries to rape Meera again. Rehan fights it and takes Meera straight to the Dargah. Meera, concerned about Rehan's safety, tries to leave him without caring for herself and calling herself the cause of the whole problem. But Rehan convinces her to let him help by professing his love for her. Both of them share a kiss. Meanwhile, the priest, who was praying for Mira is killed by a snake, who was probably Ayer's spirit. Margaret, still possessed, is present in the forest through which Rehan and Mira are going to the Dargah. She follows and attacks them. But Rehan stabs her in the abdomen with a sharp wood log. Assuming her to be dead, they both bury Margaret's body under some heavy logs. However, she rises from beneath the logs and chases both of them by flying in the air. Margaret kicks Rehan in the head and takes Mira with her in the air. As Ayer wants Mira, but Rehan realizes that in the process of escaping, they have reached the Dargah. Rehan grabs Margaret's foot just as she was about to fly off with Mira and manages to put it at the doorstep of the Dargah, thereby forcing Ayer's spirit to leave through the hole in Margaret's abdomen and throwing off her dead body. Inside they find the same rag picker who sent Rehan into the past, revealing himself to be the Sufi Baba. He tells them that a mile away is a town that was blessed by Khwaja, where there is a well which makes anything reach its place where it belongs to and in which Mira has to show the way to the spirit, which is connected to her through his blood stained on her pendant when she killed him. As they reach the town, they have to drop the fire, soil, and the pendant, as the well works along with the five elements, water and air, being already available. As Mira is performing the act with Rehan by her side, both are interrupted by Ayer's spirit. But Rehan manages to throw the pendant into the well at the last moment. And the spirit is dragged into it. Thus, saving Mira, Rehan accidentally falls into the well too, as was in store for him, and reaches back to the year 2011. He finds another letter written by Mira to him in the same place, thanking him for gifting her a new life and saying that she was distraught at first for losing him. Forever but then decided to live a happy life, in order to give importance to the invaluable gift bestowed upon her. A teary-eyed and happy Rehan looks at a smiling Mira in the photo frames on the wall with her family, husband and her child, named after him, and sits on the bed with her letter in hand, realizing that Glen Manor is no longer haunted.